With the start of training camp now less than two weeks away, I figured that this would be the perfect time to take a look at every player on the San Francisco Planners roster and how they fit with the team heading into training camp. So far, we've covered the quarterbacks, running back, wide receivers, and tight ends. Today, we will take a look at the interior offensive line. We're going to start off with Alex Mack. The Planners signed the 12-year veteran early in free agency. Despite his age, Mack is still capable of playing at a high level and has missed only two games over the last six seasons. This is one of the most important traits that Max brings with the team, considering all the issues they've had of late. Last season saw musical chairs at the center of right guard positions, and with that came a lack of communication and missed calls. Mac has experienced playing under Kyle Shanahan, and his presence should give the offensive line the signal color that they missed throughout the 2020 season. Aaron Banks. Although he weighed in at 338 pounds and is 6 foot 5 inches, Banks shows the ability to move well in space. Banks is a punishing run blocker that can move defenders off the line of scrimmage at the point of attack while also having the athleticism to get to the linebackers at the second level. The most impressive aspect of his play, and where he's likely to help out Mike McGinchy the most, however, is in his pass protection. Banks was a dominant pass blocker during his time at Notre Dame. Lakin Tomlinson. If anyone benefited from the struggles of the right side of the Farmers offensive line in 2020, it would be Lakin Tomlinson. While the majority of the tension surrounding the Forest offensive line was centered around Mike McGinchy and the right side, many failed to remember that it was a missed block by Tomlinson that led to the hit in week two on Jimmy Garoppolo that would silent the quarterback for the majority of the season with a high ankle sprain. The overall play of the seven-year veteran definitely took a step back in 2020. Despite allowing only three sacks on the year, there were a number of missed assignments throughout the season in both the run and pass protection that stymied the performance of the offense. Tomlinson is entering the final year of his contract extension that he signed after being acquired from the Detroit Lions in a 2017 trade. Tomlinson will be 29 next year and will be playing for a new contract. Daniel Brunskill. In his second year with the Flyers, Brunskill once again showed the versatility that earned him a spot on the roster in 2019. Originally slated to play right guard, injuries to Weston Richburg and Ben Garland forced Brunskill to practice at center for the majority of training camp. When the season finally got underway, Brunskill would be sent right back to guard where he would start the first eight games of the season before we moved back to center for the final eight games. Despite all the bouncing around between positions, Brunskill felt held up fairly well. 2021 looks to be much of the same for Brunskill. While his primary focus will likely be as the backup to Mack at center, Brunskill will be in the mix as a backup at right guard and tackle as well. Jalen Moore. The 6'4", 311-pound offensive lineman was originally recruited to Western Michigan as a tight end. He would spend some time along the defensive line before moving to the offensive line, where he started every game in 2018. While Moore was a tackle for the Broncos, he has the ability to play either guard or tackle in the NFL. Look for Moore to be a swing tackle that can fill in at every spot along the offensive line outside of center, primarily focusing on guard in 2020. 2021 outlook, the additions of Mack and Banks could prove to be the keys to the turnaround of the 49ers offense. Max should provide stability and leadership for the entire offensive line. Having a seasoned quarterback calling the signals for his group will make everyone better. The one question mark in the middle of the offensive line is Banks. As a rookie, there is no guarantee that he will be able to play and translate well into the NFL. If Banks can step in and become the dominant force inside against the pass rush that he was at Notre Dame, the Foreigners quarterback should be able to stay upright a lot more often than they did in 2020. With Lakin Tomlinson being in the final year of his contract, the Flyers may see the best that the veteran has to offer. Last season was a bit of a struggle, as mentioned earlier, for the veteran, but competing for a new contract, along with Jalen Moore being brought in to provide a push, that may be just what the San Francisco needs in order to get the most out of Tomlinson in 2021.